this is my education bookcase, and I'll just show you this first. There's a nice painting here I'm going to hang up on the wall when I move. Uh, here's, I'll do a couple of these little things, though. Here's a statue of, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's supposed to be of Darwin. There's a book here that says Darwin on it, and it's a picture of a, of a monkey looking at a human skull, and he's on top of a whole bunch of books. Um, there's that statue, and then I've got a pirate ship here. Anyways, at the top here is my educational philosophy shelf. So we've got here like Whitehead and uh, Barrow, some stuff up here too. This book I'm at the top here I'm actually reading is actually not too bad. Um, some other philosophy of ed stuff. Probably not interest, too interesting to most of you. Here's some classical uh, education. So there's Bertram Russell's take on ed. There's John Locke, that one there. Uh, there's Rousseau. And there's R.S. Peters, but if you're not in education, then you probably don't know who that is. Um, here's some, there's that one book on ed research. Here's some kind of random stuff on criticizing the public school system. There's uh, Charles Murray's book, which was a great book. Actually, he's got four, four points that he makes in this book, and I can't remember them now, but if you just search for the video on my channel, then uh, you'll find my take on it. There's Hirsch's... Uh, the schools we need. Uh, there's Sowell's book on American Ed. John Taylor Gatto. Probably heard of him. Um, there's Closing the American Mind by Alan Bloom. There's a great book. I've read this one, The Who Killed Homer uh, by Hansen, Victor Davis Hansen. Um, that's a great book. That's about um, the decline of classics in, in the university and also kind of the what's taken over higher education. Um, there's some other books on higher ed. There's a couple books by David Horowitz on uh, higher education. And into here is like some stuff on Piaget, Jean Piaget. There's Frobel. And down here is a book on radical schooling, different ways of, different kinds of education. There's a this, that one in the middle there is a book on history of education. This book has a chapter by Neil Postman. There's some Montessori books, free schools. There's Summer Hill, A.S. Neal, of course. Um, there is Sudbury Valley School, that one there. I actually had to get that one from a private publisher, but I did get it. Um, there's a book. Um, it has a chapter by Rothbard in it on uh, critical of public schooling being financed by government at all. Montessori doing capitalism. Uh, there's some other stuff here. Uh, there's a book by Saul on education. More radical schooling. There's one by Neil Postman. There's Ivan Illich there. I've, I've read De Schooling Society. I've read some of those, actually. I've read many of those. Montessori's book, uh, the, um, the Science that um, behind it, Montessori. Montessori actually came before Piaget, and Piaget actually took a lot of Montessori's views, and yet in education, and especially early childhood, we talk a lot about um, Piaget, and not about Montessori, but Montessori actually had, actually was first to th uh, think about a lot of those views of Piaget. Um, Summerhill, of course, I'm familiar with. Um, this is a good book on Montessori and doing capitalism. Um, where was I? Okay, Ivan Illich I read on Do Schooling Society is pretty good. Um, there's uh, Neil Postman's book on the end of education, looking at the purposes of education. And the gods we serve, different reasons why we educate. Um, more stuff. This is getting into psychology now. And Kieran Egan. I've got a lot of Kieran Egan stuff because he's pretty good. Okay. Now this is more into psych now. I've got a few um, psychoanalysis, like Freud books. There's another one by Freud. Um, Social intelligence. This is all on intelligence. So this is uh, Hurston and Murray's bell curve, which is very controversial. There's a book on the bell curve wars. Thomas Sowell has a chapter in there. Um, another book on intelligence. Uh, more on intelligence. There's, there's Gould's take on intelligence. Um, there's some neuroscience stuff in there. There's some humanist psychology. So Maslow and Rogers is, is humanist. Um, there's Nathaniel Brandon's book, Six Pillars of Self-Esteem. Strangely enough, I found it up here in Canada. Um, here's some B.F. Skinner and... Uh, what was this guy? Oh yeah, Bruner. Bruner's up here. There's, there's Jung, psychologist. Um, uh, Bowlby, of course, for attachment theory. Um, Lost at School. I've read that one. That's a great one. 
um, about uh, it's by Ross W. Green with a double with another e at the end. Um, that's a good one on um, kids that don't do well in school and why, and the problems of the public school system really. Um, there's some psychohistory stuff you probably have never heard of that, but it's actually some pretty interesting stuff by Lloyd DeMoss. Um, he talks about um, childhood as a driver of history, childhood practices. Um, there's a lot of theses, a lot of, uh, th not theses, but a lot of uh, different takes on how what drives human history. Some people say it's war, some people say it's culture, some people say it's economics, but um, psychohistory and Lloyd DeMoss say, oh no, it's childhood practices that drive history. So that's interesting. There's Steven Pinker's Blank Slate. I've read that one. That's pretty good, talking about the Blank Slate. Um, coming out saying that it's essentially nonsense. That there's all kinds of things that are that are hardwired. Um, and that's what human nature is, is what he would say. Uh, so, and there's some other... These are into um, abnormal ed, or abnormal psych. So, like, disabilities. Mental disabilities and stuff. So, Scattered Mind, I've read that one. I read that on my master's, actually. It's interesting. It's about the writer, actually. He's a doctor. Or he might be a psychiatrist. I think he's a psychiatrist. He actually has he, he has ADHD and talks about his mind and and how he had to function and all that. So neurodiversity, I've read that one. Talks about <clears throat> talks about that we need to not be prejudiced against people with different disabilities and let them be as they are. So let people be blind and let people be deaf and let people have ADHD and let them just function as as is. So we should be diverse in what we believe is uh, neurological. I think that's really going way too far, but I still think it's it's a good it's a decent book. Um, there's some other textbooks there on uh, psychology. Um, here's some sociology in Ed. So there's some uh, Max Faber there. Um, some sociology of Ed there, Limits and Possibilities of Schooling. I've read that one. That's actually not a bad book. It's very good. It's very, very well written. Um, more sociology. Um, compulsory schooling. E.G. West, Education in the State. Interesting. Language Police, talking about textbooks. There's another one on textbooks. Um, this one here, American Revised, talking about the the um, censorship and, and textbooks that are um, deemed acceptable to put in the schools. Um, there's a book on uh, The War Against Boys by Hoff Summers, kind of a, um, a pushback against feminists who have been pushing and promoting uh, women for such a long time that they've actually overextended themselves and now men are declining in, in school. Um, something like 60% 60, 60 of universities are now composed of female students. Um, and there's all kinds of other statistics, something like 80% of disabilities uh, labeled in schools are, men, are boys that are labeled with disabilities. Um, there's all kinds of statistics, but you don't see a pushback for men from coming from feminists, or uh, I haven't seen it. Um, there's a little, uh, little, you know, duck, it's, it's, uh, like its own, I can't remember what they call it, but it's, there's plastic, uh, pieces and then you and, and then you sew them you sew them with thread and that's how you make these things there's there's a name for it but I can't remember what they called obviously I didn't do that by the way um, there's a book on gifted education the book on language education um, or some stuff on early childhood um, psychology so scientists in the crib this is a fantastic book by Gopnik Gopnik and some other people that's a fantastic book talking about how uh, the brain and the early mind soaks up information and how it's we need it. Uh, there's a book on play and development. There's Piaget is in here and Erickson. That's why I kept it. This is a great book, too, on Descent of the Child. Very good. Um, more on Piaget. And there's a textbook, Child Development textbook. 